What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to place your most frequently used apps, system preferences, or shortcuts in the one easily accessible place. All you need to do is install the free application called Floating Toucher. So I'm going to open it up and show you how to set it up. So what Floating Toucher does is add a floating toucher or pointer little icon around the edges of your screen. You can tap and it'll open up this panel. Now you do get one free panel with the free version of this app, but if you upgrade you get additional panels as you can see. So right now we have one panel and to add things to it you would just tap and hold to remove an existing um, slot and then you would tap on that blank area and you can add an action, app, or any shortcuts you may have on your device. So we have some apps I can easily access or some actions that I frequently use. So let's just go ahead and just add Wi-Fi like it was. So I got that all set up and now the cool thing is you can actually adjust the panel itself. So as you can see it's a basic gray. I can add see how intense I want it or faint or transparent whatever you want to call it. Then I can add some color if I want that. Uh, to add a custom color you do need a premium version and you can purchase premium versions um, singularly I guess or individually um, as you can see there's custom color is 99 cents or I can just get the whole package for 399 right now I guess it's 60 percent off anyways so yeah it comes with a few colors a uh, few basic backgrounds or you can actually which is cool upload your own so maybe you can just choose your own color this way you can choose an existing photo like I did so you can have Lana Del Rey as the background of your panel. Now along with the panel you can also adjust the pointer itself. Now you can't pick a color or an image but you can select a different size. I'm going to use the shield of, of Captain America and I'm gonna make it pretty intense and pretty large since I'm on this Nexus. Now let's go ahead and show you some of the additional preferences or settings. Uh, you can enable the floating toucher which is going to show up on the side of your screen. Uh, auto launch on start. There's a stick pointer to screen borders which I prefer because I don't want it in the middle of my screen. Panel animation. Panel shows up near the pointer. I like it to show up in the middle of the screen so I'm going to leave the panel in the middle and not next to the pointer. And stay notification. This is useful and I'll show you why. So let's go ahead and enable this. So as you can see I have my pointer. I can move it around tap on it to activate the panel. I only have one but it's still pretty cool and I can launch apps this way, adjust uh, my Wi-Fi. Oops, let's go back home. But I can also hide the pointer just by tapping and holding on it. So if you don't want it to bother you, then you can just tap and hold and then just re-enable it by tapping the notification in the notification panel. So there's tons of stuff to check out with this application, especially if you want to unlock some of the premium versions. So I highly suggest this just uh, going through it and kind of just exploring it. Also, take a look at the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.